is an easy topic decimal number should be converted as fractions okay for that let's bring a number 0.5 okay 0.5 here the task is very easy you should write the numerical value okay here the number don't consider about the zero that does not have any values in this case so only we need to consider about this five let's write our five on top okay in the denominator you have to think in here you can see only one digit after the decimal point okay here you can see only one digit after the de decimal point so in your denominator should be hold only one zero okay this is the easiest way to convert decimal numbers to fractions okay write the numerical value as it is and here after decimal only one value so your denominator should hold only one zero before that let's add a one okay let's put a one this is the way you should convert decimals to fractions okay let's do one more example 0.35 okay 0.35 here what is our numerical value 35 upon okay in the denominator here you should count how many digits after the decimal point after the decimal point here you can see one two digits there are two digits so our denominator should hold two zeros itself so before this two zero we can put a one we can put a one that's all one more example 0 0.006 okay yeah our only numerical value don't consider about these zeros okay it does not have any values in this case only consider about this six here you can see after the decimal there are three digits one two three totally there are three digits so our denominator should hold three zeros and before that let's put a one let's put a one that's all another case a one point Three one. Okay, in this case, we have to write the numerical value. What is the numerical value? Don't consider about the decimal one only. You have to think this whole number, this whole number without decimal. So we can write it as hundred and thirty one. Upon here, you can see after the decimal point, there are two digits. One two digits. So our denominator should hold two zeros. Before that, let's put a one. Let's put a one because. When we convert decimals to fractions, in all cases, our denominator should be a power of ten. Power of ten. First of all, we can count how many zeros there, are, and before that, we can put a one to indicate the fraction. One more question. Here, two point zero zero nine. Okay, two point zero zero nine. Think this number without decimal. Okay, without decimal. So. We can't write only nine, okay? Only nine because when you consider this number as a without decimal one, it should be two thousand nine, two thousand nine upon. Yeah, after the decimal, there are three digits one, two, three. So in denominator, there are three zeros. Before that, let's put a one. That's all for our conversion from decimal numbers to fractions.